Aloha, I'm coming from sunny Hawaii at Waikiki Beach and this is Tip Tuesday. So this week I'm going to give you a little tip about applying camera raw and inflating those adjustments you get somewhere between the before and the after. So forgive the uh, poor sound quality because I'm right here on location in beautiful Hawaii. So here's an aerial panorama that I just shot here at Waikiki uh, last night. This is the sunset. And, uh, and I just kind of merged these together and I've done some editing. I'm actually pretty happy with this final picture, but I'm going to show you a couple of tips here with Camera Raw. First of all, I'm going to show you a real quick way of doing something and then I'll show you uh, a little bit more involved, but it's more accurate and gives you more flexibility. So first of all, say we're here and we're in uh, Camera Raw, we're going under Filter, we go to the Camera Raw filter, and maybe we want to make some adjustments. Uh, sometimes it might be something like, say, the white balance, so we're going to go here and we want to make the whole thing just a little bit warmer. And then I click OK to apply it. And now we can see the result. You know, I kind of like that, but let's have a look at before and after. So what if I wanted to do something kind of, you know, somewhere in the middle? Well, this is what you can do. So you can go under the Edit menu, and you'll find that the last uh, filter that you applied was a Camera Raw filter, and we click on Fade Camera Raw. And now what I can do is I can just go up here, and I can adjust the opacity. So there it is before and after, and now I can just move down the opacity and start to blend the two together until I see something that I really like. Now the other option that I can do too is I could even go under here and I could change the blend mode. I could go into, say for example, overlay blend mode and now I can start to blend the before and after in an overlay blend mode and get some really nice results right there as well. So that's the uh, quick way of working. So I'm just going to go back a couple of steps to here and I'm going to show you uh, another way is if we convert this to a smart object. So now as a smart object, once it's applied there, I'll just take a second to convert it. It's a pretty big image here. In fact, it's a huge image. Um, I think it's about seven images all stitched together here inside. And there we go. Now we've got our nice little smart object. So if we apply a filter again, I'm just going to go here to Camera Raw, and we're just applying that last adjustment we made. And here's Camera Raw right there. We're going to change this up here, make it warmer, and click OK to apply. So now we get to do more or less the same thing by going under here, and see we've got the settings there. I can just double click on those settings, and I'll bring up the blending options. Now under the blending options, we can go in here, and we can adjust the opacity, we can go in, we can change our blend modes. Let's maybe put this into a soft light mode this time and kind of blur these backwards and forwards or kind of blend them together so you can see how we can do that now right in here and get some interesting results. So the difference with this method with the smart object right now is it's um, we can always go back and we can change it at any time. We can actually go back into camera raw. So it gives you a lot more flexibility to do this and tweak it. The other way is just kind of like a quick fix. if you know, you're just doing something, you just want to quickly just kind of fade the two, maybe matching a color correction or something like that. So anyway, that's the tips for this week. Uh, check out uh, photoshopcafe.com. Don't forget, subscribe right now, and every week you'll get a new tip from me right here at Photoshop Cafe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the cafe.